Cox, this is Uli with Interordnance and Royal Tiger Imports. Today I want to show you the Austrian firearms we just have received from Africa. So these guns are all kind of really rare and we have some cool guns in there. So for example, we have some Steyr Mammachers 1888, like we have here on the table, the first one. We have the model 1888-90, which we have here. We have the um, 1888 carbines. We have the regular Steyr um, 1895 uh, rifles over here. We have sniper rifles. And this one is an intermediary length, which I have to do some research at this moment. So I will do a follow-up video about this one, but this one is intermediary length and it's fairly interesting. So moving forward, we have the regular um, M95s here. The M95 um, carbines in caliber 8x50 and the um, M95 uh, carbines modified for the uh, Spitzgeschoss, the Spitzer, which has an S on the barrel. So basically we have the entire variety of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire here. The rifles, um, the M95s are manufactured whether at uh, Steyr or at the Budapest um, plant. And the, um, and the uh, Manlichers 1888, of course, are they all produced at Steyr. So um, actually I'm proud to present these guns and I will show you all the details uh, when I go with the camera over these different firearms. So stay put, I'll be right back and let me move the camera to all the guns. Thank you. Okay, folks, let me just zoom in into the uh, guns. Let's start again with the 1888. markings the wheel side these are beautiful guns absolutely gorgeous I never actually um, had one in my hand before I went to Africa and I love them. Next one is the uh, eighty-eight ninety. Same action, but modified rear sight or simplified, let's say. Next one is the 88 Cardi. Nice style markings. And folks, these guns uh, basically we just wiped down with a little bit of oil. They're filthy still, they're greasy, and they definitely have to be cleaned with steel wool. But it gives you a good idea how you will receive them. That's the intermediate rifle. Next one is the sniper. Some of the carbines and rifles do have cracks in the handguard since the, since the wood is very, very flimsy. And these tires we will auction off probably over gun broker. Next one is a regular M95. And let me zoom in here. Steyr M95. And as you can see, they are for the original cartridge, not for the Spitzgeschoss, the Spitzer. This one is the carving, the manual carving, the original caliber, as you can see. They're beautiful, these tires. 
and last but not least, we have the M95, which were modified for the Spitzgeschoss, the Spitzer, right here. And my hunch is they came out of uh, Bulgaria since they look the same like the ones we bought 30 years ago from the Bulgarian government. So, Hey guys, so I want to show you all the details of the various guns we have here. Let's start out with the model 1888, Landlicher 1888. It's a beautiful built gun, folks, and high quality. And look at the stock stamp here, AOI stands for Armée Orientale Italiana. So when the Italians occupied Abyssinia, they basically pushed every firearm they could find into their service and I will do later on a video about all these different firearms I found which had the stamp on the stock. So the next gun is the Mannlicher 8890. As you can see it has the different rear sight, simplified rear sight. Next one is the Manager Carbine, model 88. And this next one is an intermediary length, which I don't know exactly what it is, so I have to do some research about it and I will do a video about this firearm later on. This beauty here is an original sniper, M95 sniper, and all the M95s we have here, um, the majority of the M95 rifles are all the original calibers, guys. So this is really a collector item, and um, don't miss out on that. This is a regular M95, and I repeat, they are not modified for the Spitzgeschoss, the Spitzer. These are all original 8x50 and not 8x56. Next gun, as you can see, has again this stock stamp, AOI. It's an M95 carbine. And the M95 carbines and rifles, these are all CNR, so we would need a license for them. And here we have one um, M95 carbine, which was modified for the Spitzgeschoss, Spitzer. I will show you later on the detailed markings. Interesting story about these M95s, which were modified. We bought these guns about, gosh, nearly 30 years ago out of Bulgaria. And um, obviously the Bulgarians, they supported the um, Ethiopians with these guns. So they must have come definitely in the 50s or 60s. To Ethiopia because we also found some ZB29s which, uh, in, which are in this caliber 8x56R. So very interesting story and um, let me turn the rifles around so you can see the details. Stand by please. So Bong, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have an idea what you can expect when you order these rifles. Um, they're really cool. Of course, the age, you know, these guns are about 130 to, um, to 80 or 90 years old. So they have some dents in the stocks, some minor cracks in the hand guards, but in overall, they're safe to shoot, they're functional, and definitely a piece of history uh, it's worth to preserve in your collection. So thank you so much for watching. God bless, God bless America, and have a wonderful 4th of July. See you soon.